everyone. Let's say you promised a friend that you'd go with them to see a movie that doesn't really interest you. You can think of a million other things you'd rather be doing, but you've already promised to go with them, so you can't back out now. Your friend calls you a couple of hours before and says that they're really sorry, but something unexpected and important has come up and they can't go to see the film with you. You pretend that you're sad, but you're actually glad because now you're off the hook and can spend the evening as you wish. If you look at fishing, the meaning becomes quite, quite clear as when a fish is let off the hook, they are free and avoid becoming food. So being let off the hook means getting out of something that is unpleasant or you may not want to do. Now this idiom has a few other meanings depending on the context it's used in. You can say it when referring to a telephone not being hung up properly after being used. So you could say, I called him but his phone was off the hook. It can also mean that many people are calling you. The phone went off the hook when we announced that we were giving away a free iPad to the first 100 callers. You can also say that something is amazing, impressive, or outrageous. Did you see that car? It was off the hook. As you can see, off the hook has a few meanings. It can mean to get out of something unpleasant. It can refer to a phone not being put away properly or constantly ringing and it can mean something amazing or outrageous. So you really need to pay attention to the context it is used in when you hear it in order to follow what the person is saying. If you'd like to practice this idiom, tell us about something that is off the hook for you or about a time you were let off the hook in the comment section below. That's all for today. I hope this was helpful for you. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, keep on language learning.